Welcome to Mother Daughter Projects. Today we're going to make a concrete and wood doorstop. We'll be using five pounds of quickcrete mortar mix, mixing bowls, U-bolt, epoxy, wood, and Lego bricks to make the mold. We picked up the mortar mix from Ace Hardware. We were happy to find a small bag which is way more manageable than the 60 to 80 pound bags. We went with the mortar mix because it doesn't have large rocks in it like the concrete mix. We used the wood to make our mold around. We have not cut our wood to size yet, so we just eyeballed the size we liked. Once we got the basic square design, then we started building up the sides. These Lego bricks come from my collection and they can be clean once we're done with them. The Lego bricks make a great mold because they're smooth and the concrete will easily release from them. the Lego mold to a piece of melamine, which is a waterproof board that the concrete will easily release from. With the mold complete, now we need to mix the concrete. We poured half our 10 pound bag into a container, then mixed in water. We added a small amount of water at a time, being careful not to add too much. We mixed it all together, looking for the consistency of about cookie dough. Once it was mixed, we added it to our mold. To release any air bubbles trapped inside, we vibrated our mold with an orbital sander, but any tool that vibrates should do the trick. Next, we added the U-bolt to the top. We used a scrap piece of wood to hold it in place while the concrete cured. We let the concrete cure for 20 hours, then removed it from the mold. We used needle nose pliers to remove the Legos. With a few rows removed, we were able to push the concrete out. We used the orbital sander to smooth everything out. The concrete is not fully cured for many days, so at this stage, it's pretty easy to sand. Let the concrete cure for two more weeks, then we seal the concrete. This is an optional step. We cut the wood to the size of the concrete block, then sanded it and finished it with Danish oil to bring out the nice color of the wood. I'm not sure what type of wood this is, but it's a really pretty scrap we got from a woodworker. Next, we use a concrete countertop wax. This is not necessary, but we've been wanting to try it out. We applied it with a microfiber sponge, then buffed it out with a polishing wheel on our Dremel. With everything dry, we applied a two-part epoxy to the wood, mixed it together, and added the concrete on top. And done. This makes a great doorstop and also doubles as a weight for DIY projects. We like that you can see a little bit of the Lego brick impression on the side of the concrete. The U-bolt handle we use comes in many different sizes and shapes, so find one that you like the best. For more concrete projects, be sure to visit us at motherdaughterprojects.com and subscribe right here on YouTube.